Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's been a little bit. I've been not feeling too great, uh, mostly yesterday. I recorded some stuff yesterday. I did not end up getting it out on time, so I apologize. I'm really gonna push hard to do something special for you guys this week. I'm hoping to have videos out for every day this week on this channel, uh, at least while I'm gone for my trip. I'm really still not feeling well, but I want to fight for you guys, so. All right, well, yesterday we left off um, shortly after Life 100, and we now have a shopless setup that is really, really fast. It's very efficient. It just, it just works really, really well. Like, watch this, bro. See? I want a more cleaner. Like, again, it's just not stuff that I want. All right. I mean, there's no evolution for it, so I don't really care anymore. I don't think there's an evolution for it. I could be wrong. But yeah, yesterday, um, I don't know, just very fatigued, very tired. I just was not feeling my best. Yo, I'll take it. I'm not going to use it right now, but I'll take it. I just wasn't at a point where I could record or edit and be, like, comfortable. I'm feeling better today, um, but nonetheless, it's just, I don't know. I, I had to prioritize myself uh, for, for once this week. More mid. I think the next step is to get an Atomia Mine and a Blind Justice. I feel like those are probably some of the few items that I really need to be looking out for at the moment. Eh, I don't really need these anymore. I feel like I'm past this point in the game where I need Unium Mines consistently. Alright, what are we gonna get? Big Bad Blaster? I'll take it. I forget how much it is for the evolution, but I feel like Mad Monstrous Melters will be very useful at some point for me. Here we go. I don't need this. Another Slipstream? Okay. You know, as I've been working on more and more different series and stuff for this channel more i've just gotten excited about making changes to the future of mh content at least here on youtube i feel like things just haven't changed all too much compared to where we were at even like nine years ago we're no longer at a point where like item reviews and stuff in specific are really a thing but the tutorial formula hasn't really changed much if at all uh, I would actually argue that it's only gotten worse. I feel like we're no longer at a point where people try to spread knowledge and stuff, and I feel like we're now at a point where people would rather just give something to copy and paste. I'm just excited to make some changes to that. I have a, a lot of hope for the future of MH content due to some of the things that I want to do, and I'm hoping it'll make bigger changes than I expect. Let's see, what are we going to get? Bro, is that my first? That is literally my first. Oh, that's not. Okay, I was gonna say. I thought that was like a life, like forty item, dude. I feel like some of the the life requirements on items change a lot more than I'd expect. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something, but like, feels like some items are like a life fifty item, and then I don't get it for like a hundred lives, and then I'm like, well, what's wrong? And I go look, and I'm like barely at the life requirement. Oh yeah, I know I plugged this in the last video, but I'd like to plug it as well today. But I also have a second channel now. I've had it for quite some time, and I'm going to probably be trying to upload some stuff as well there throughout the week. So that way both channels can get just as much love. I would kindly appreciate it if you went over there, subscribed, and checked out some of the videos. It's a much, much, much smaller channel, so the support is much, much appreciated. Alright, let's see this. Yes! How much does this give again? Bro, that is solid. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm just happy that I have it now. It's just generally pretty useful. I don't know. Now all I need is Atomium. Okay, so Atomium is only life 100 plus. So we are capable of getting it. I think that's the goal for today. Is to get an Atomium. As well as just generally keep making substantial progress. Dude, I need to get more catalysts so I can uh, evolve it. 
you know, I've been thinking about um, how I want to go about setups later on, and I'm very confused as to what items I should be hunting and stuff. Like, I feel like I'm... I'm just struggling to conceptualize an endgame setup for this goal and like this specific path with the game. Dude, it's 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 just GG's. The game is the game is literally over. So how much does this combo do? Okay, so it's just better. Toxic waste, I think that's my first. No, it's not. Yo, dude, we're just getting crazy items today. Dude, back to back? Or no, we had toxic waste, never mind. You know what's kind of crazy, though, is there's like a noticeable difference in value between the Newtonium and the Atomium ores. Yeah, it's like, it's like a 50 SX difference. Like, we're talking like... Like, low SX Newtonium compared to, like, mid SX uh, Atomium. I don't know, I just think it's pretty cool. Okay, we are closer and closer every rebirth, it feels like, to getting a Tesla Refuter. Refuter, I think that's what it's called. Pizza Blaster. Mm, I don't really care for it. I feel like at some point soon, though, I would like to implement Gate of Eclipse into the setup. I feel like it's just decent still, I think. Okay, Gate of Eclipse wouldn't be terrible, but it doesn't seem worth it given its size. Grinty Latte, eh. Like, it's too large for what's only a times 7 during the day and a times 10 at night. Alright, please, something good. Astral again. I mean, okay, you know, I keep getting upset that I keep getting Astrals, but, like, I am very close at this point to getting a, uh... An actual setter, setter, setter. I also know that soon enough I'm gonna end up having to RP farm. Dark magic. I mean, I can't really be upset with it. It's not a terrible furnace. It's small as well, so if I need something small and decent, I have it. Also, once again, I've made a personal server, so if you're looking to get in contact with me specifically for video content and stuff like that, or to like ask for something or request a video or whatever, make sure you join my Discord. It is kind of revived now. It's not super active yet, but it is, um, it is nonetheless an active and alive server once again for the first time probably in like four years. I felt bad that, like, this community didn't really have a dedicated place to talk and communicate anymore about stuff, and it definitely made it harder to stay in contact with the people who find the stuff I do entertaining, and I don't know, I just wanted to do, uh, do a little bit more for you guys, so it is back, it is up, there is a video ideas channel, as well as just general chats and stuff like that. I have a feeling we're gonna get something decent. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. Good news is this is also evolvable, I believe. This is like extremely unrelated, but I, I always like wonder what happens when I get DMs from my friends who have been hacked on Discord. Like, I love just, like, hanging out and just doing stuff, and then you get a text from someone you haven't spoken to in, like, 12 months or something. And it's just, like, some free Robux Discord server link that's definitely gonna hack your shit. I don't know. I just... I just... It just makes me question things. Alright, watch. Best item in... Nope. I would be a lot happier if I had more portables, to be honest. But... It is kind of fun to try and not use every portable in the game at all times, because that's all endgame is at the moment. This is another thing I was curious about, but I, I sometimes question the YouTube algorithm. Not that it really matters, but I found it pretty funny that within a day, less than a day, the video for part four passed part three. I don't know, I found it very amusing. Here we go. I think 
that is literally my first dreamer's fright what the actual bro how did it take me that long to get a dreamer's fright oh my god dude lo I gotta absolutely love it when common items are like the hardest thing to get like bro I don't remember who it was, but uh, someone told me they didn't get a Tesla until like Life 170 or something. I don't remember. Like, it's just wild to me that sometimes there is no safety protection in place. Alright, I think I'm going to wrap this one up soon. I want to do a couple more rebirths because I just feel like it. But, um... Again, uh, these videos might be a little shorter for the next couple days, but I'm planning on putting out more of them. And it's also been very, very good for my ability to edit uh, by trying to edit more, more frequently, and just trying to edit faster as well. Editing is no longer the point for me, or at a point, sorry. It is no longer at a point for me where it takes three hours to edit 40 minutes of footage down in a 10 minute video. It is now at a point where it takes me 30 minutes to edit an hour and a half of video down to a 15 minute video. So while I won't try to take advantage of that and just try to put out bad content, not necessarily that this is any bad content, but just proving a point. Also, GG's, um, I did not have Eternal Journey. My point is just that I think it is worth watching my own actions in terms of how fast I'm putting content out just to make sure it doesn't ruin it for the viewers. Alright, well, I think that's probably it for today. I don't... I don't really know um, what else we'll do for the next video. I know sometimes these videos are literally just me rebirthing, but... To be fair, I, I just want all of it documented. I just think it's cool to share. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe if you'd like. You don't have to. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully every day for a couple days. Peace.